Hello, uh, I've got a quick interview for you with young Toby Roberts. Uh, Toby Roberts is a 15 year old climber who just red pointed uh, Steve McClure's 9A a Rain Shadow at Malham on the 2nd of December this year. I caught up with him for a quick chat to ask about that and to find out what he's all about. So if you don't know, Toby is a European champion in Youth B for bouldering. He's the vice champion in lead from these results from last year. Uh, Rain Shadow is Steve McClure's 9A from maybe 2003, third or fourth 9A in the UK, climbs up Rain Dogs and then takes steep bulges, etc. above and it's acknowledged as the classic 9A in the country. So let's get into it. Here you go with Toby and me. <laughs> Thanks for doing this. Uh, yeah, you did rain shadow, that's incredible, isn't it? You, yeah, I did it yesterday. It was a bit of a surprise, really. Only yesterday, wow. Uh, day before yesterday, sorry. Day before yesterday, yeah, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. Uh, tell us about that. I mean, I just know rain shadow is this incredible looking uh, climb. I haven't been to Malin so much over the years, and it just looks like the most incredible thing. Last night over yeah. there, I know you did, you did uh, rain dogs many years ago. Oh, yeah, that was five years ago. No, I think. Huh. And uh, yeah. and that that was back back in the myths of time. That was a thing that went as far as climbing could possibly go up to that. Uh, yeah, like up that overhang. Hang on. Yeah, I never thought I'd really ever get. I remember looking up and just thinking, "Wow, that's just that's impossible." And now, really, and so yeah. obviously, obviously, I never you did uh, rain dogs. Rain shadow existed, and uh, was there when you clip the chains on because he. That's the crux of grabbing the chain, isn't it? That's the, the last move. Oh, yeah. Yeah, so normally when you do rain dogs, you grab the chain and then you clip it, but there's a small traverse going out right for rain shadow. Right. I think it makes it, I think it, makes it 8A+. Plus. It's like a, uh, so, yeah, it's much harder just to <laughs> sail on the wall than just grab the chains. Right. So was there a small piece of you that looked upwards and thought, maybe? Yeah, or? I mean, they're climbing above the bulge, and the bulge is one of, like, one of the best routes in the UK. It's the best route I've actually ever climbed. So rain shadow. Yeah, yeah. It's not. It's not actually. It's not just hard climbing. It's like it's an amazing route as well. Right, right. Have uh, sort of really solid holds and cool holds yeah. and things. Yeah, like you'd almost think it's been made like man-made. It's actually it's just just so good to climbing. And it's it's super, super hard to bolt and then. Uh, yeah, so the bulge is 8A, font 8A, boulder, uh -huh. and then there's like a really good 8A plus at the top. It's like, it's like a 20 move, just solid 8A plus, so wow. yeah, big holds, big moves, so it's good. Yeah, man, and 9A, 9A, that's incredible, isn't it? <laughs> Thank you. When was your first 8A? Was Rain Dogs your first 8A? Rain Dogs is my first, so right. yeah. Oh, amazing. Huh. How cool. Yeah. Then, yeah. It's quite, it's quite cool. Right, Rain right. my first, and then the extension is the first 9A, so it's pretty cool. Ah, oh, sweet, Toby. And was it a big effort to do it? Yeah, uh, when I first got on it, I thought, okay, this is going to be, this is impossible. Really? Uh, I, couldn't do, I couldn't do many of the moves in the crux. It was like, okay, it's going to take a long time. Yeah. And then the more I got on it, the more I learned the beta. Like, tiny micro beta changes seem to make a massive difference, so one move right. in the crux could feel almost impossible and you change a tiny bit of beta and it'll feel much better. Wow. But I think overall it might have been just over 20 sessions on it. So mm. yeah, many of the sessions were completely gone because the conditions were so bad. Right. It's Good. one of the dr drier routes at Malham, but right. uh, a few of the holes get really wet. So it's quite hard. Huh. What was your breakthrough, was your breakthrough moment on the uh, yeah. There wasn't really a massive breakthrough. I just started to start trying it. I started to get halfway through the crux and a bit higher and a bit higher. And I got to a point where I was almost consistently getting through the crux every time. I yeah. fell five holes from the top, like twice, I think, and a bit below that, below that three times. Right. So it's very frustrating, but yeah, yeah the climbing is amazing. So it was worth and it. And I guess at that point, you got to just mentally kick in to, yeah. like, come on, come on. Yeah, I mean, the attempt where I did it was the last attempt on the last day right. that we were staying there. It was 
yeah, it was the only day where the conditions were like actually properly good, and most of it was dry. Wow. So yeah. So you know, you always wonder on the go, you succeed. You set off feeling this is it. This one's it. Yeah, I I didn't really feel that. I kind of in the attempt, I kind of dropped all the expectations because I have I had my first attempt on the day, which I thought was the last, and I fell mid crux. And yeah, I thought I'd just give it a bit and then just go up as like a last sort of training go. Right. And I got through the crux and just carried on going. Oh. Ah! Come on. Come on. Come on. Come on. Yeah, I mean, it was right. I was right on the edge of falling off towards the top, so it was good right. to get there. Ah, cool. Hey, Toby, tell us a bit about yourself. Where are you based? Uh, so we're based in Surrey, south of England. Oh wow! Um, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> so going to Malham is not not the easiest five-hour drive. <laughs> Uh, yeah, yeah. You, you have to travel quite far to get the decent rock. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. How do you stay psyched? Uh, psyched, do you say psyched? How do you stay psyched? Oh, well, I've got a board uh, out there which which I would like to train on. And yeah, there's some pretty good walls opening up down south. Right, yeah. But obviously, yeah. there's not much outdoor climbing, like good outdoor climbing. So, yeah. And uh, as 2020 has been a kind of rubbish year because of COVID, no comps. Has that left the canvas open to sort of do all these things? I know you did make it funky early in the year. So yeah, yeah it was a really good season outdoors. Has that been a, a bonus or a... I mean, the year's obviously not been great. I had loads of comps scheduled, which have all been cancelled. But this getting this route at the end of the year was probably... <laughs> probably like more than I could have ever like really asked for. It was just, I really didn't expect to get it before, uh -huh. before like the season ended. So yeah, especially with all the walls being closed, it was hard to train. Sure. Yeah. Yeah. I'm just happy that I was able to get up it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Oh, amazing. Toby, really incredible. Really incredible. It's, it just looks like the ultimate nine, not, not even nine, but the ultimate nine in the UK. Looks so yeah, good. I mean, it's one of the best ones, I think. Yeah. The best routes, yeah, in the UK. Right, right. I mean, there's loads more I want to try. Uh, there's loads more at Malham as well. What's, I really what would be your ultimate dream tick? Right at now? Malham, it would be uh, Rain Man, Stephen Claus route. Right, right. Yeah. There's like... Ah, amazing. Uh, Cheers, Toby. Use. Good luck with yeah. uh, Rain Man. No yeah, problem. Thank comes. you. Hopefully there'll be more lockdown next year, you can try that. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I mean, it made a massive like opportunity. There's, there wouldn't have been any better opportunity to climb outdoors sure. this year if it wasn't great, I guess. Yeah. No, yeah. super congratulations and good tenacity and good timing. Thank you. Yeah, Thank good you. luck with the future, Toby. Thank you. Thank you, you see. Bye.